Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Ferdinand. And I'm Tiva. Hi everyone, before we start, let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for today. We commit this Shine Kids Club into your hand. Please help us have a wonderful time. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi guys, it's time to break some ice. Let's join Uncle Daryl for some fun. Shine! I shine! You shine! We shine! Alright, today we are playing a very wonderful and tricky tongue twister. Listen to me very carefully. The sun shall soon shine. We are going to say it very fast three times. Alright, so I don't want you to joke. If you are sitting down, stand up, position, make sure you are following. Because I want you to prove that you are very smart and I know you are a very, very smart kid. So breathe in. Out. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Yes! Let's go. The sun shall soon shine. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. We all do it together. One, two, three, let's go. The sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. Freeze. Benjamin, go. The sun shall soon shine. Hey! <laughs> Stephanie, go. The sun shall soon shine. Wow. Alicia, go. The sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. The sun shall soon shine. Wow. Ella, go. The sun shall soon shine. Wow, can you go? Wow! Let's all say it together. The sun shall shine. The sun shall shine. The sun shall shine. The sun shall shine. Shine! I shine. You shine. We shine. Bye. Hi everyone. It's Daddy Money time. Let's have two Daddy Money for two. My name is John Shaba Kofit. I thank God, His love, and His provision. My name is Evangeline Maunyote. I, I am six years old. I like reading Shine magazine. Read it to your parents and your siblings. I shine, you shine, we shine. <laughs> Let's enjoy this dance. Come on, put your hands together nicely. Come on. Hey. Let's sing together. You have given me a reason, so I'm singing my praises to you. You have lifted every burden, so I'm Our memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Let's learn it together. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Do all this in prayer. Asking for God's help. Pray on every occasion. As the Spirit leads. For this reason, keep alert and never give up. 
Pray always for all God's people. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Now, let's take out some of the words and see if you can remember them. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Do all this in asking for God's pray on every as the Spirit for this reason keep and never give up pray always for all Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 now let's see if you were able to get it right Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 Do all this in prayer Asking for God's help Pray on every occasion As the Spirit leads For this reason Keep alert and never give up. Pray always for all God's people. Pray always for all God's people. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Wow, you've done so well. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Now let me try. Do all this in prayer, asking for God's help. Pray on every occasion as the Spirit leads. For this reason, keep alert and never give up. Pray always for God's people. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Amen. <laughs> Our Bible story is from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 9 to 18. That's I said, it's about a Bible character called Hannah. Called what? Hannah. <laughs> Good. So there was a man called Elkanah, and this man had two wives, Hannah and then Pina. Now, Hannah couldn't give birth because of that. She was very, very sad, and she was always crying because her rival, Penina, was always laughing at her and teasing her just because she didn't have children. So one day when they went to the temple, they used to go to the temple every year to offer sacrifices to God. So one of such occasions when they went, Hannah decided to pray to God. So Hannah went to the temple and started praying and praying and praying because she was really, really in pain. She was praying that God would give her a child, you understand? Because she was very, very serious with the prayer. And the Bible says that you go to the time that she was praying, her lips were just moving, but you couldn't hear any sound because she was in prayer. And the priest came, the priest was called Ellie. And the priest was standing and watching and I was like, see this woman's lips moving, but there's no sound that she's drunk. And she went to call her and was like, hey woman, why are you drunk this early morning? And Hannah said, oh my dear priest, I'm not drunk, oh. My soul is just in a lot of pain. I'm praying to God to give me a son. And the priest was like, Oh, don't worry. A year by this time, God will bless you with a son. So just as the priest Ellie had said, a year after, Hannah gave birth to a bouncy baby boy. And who knows the name of the boy she gave birth to? Okay, so it was called Samuel. Let's say Samuel. 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 Okay, Samuel. So God blessed Hannah with a son called Samuel. And Hannah's promise to God was that if God gave her a son, she would give the son back to him. And God did just that. So after a year, she brought the son back to God. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yes. And I said the boy was called what? Samuel. Good, Samuel. Now I have a few questions for you to see if you really understood the story. Okay. So our first question. Why was Hannah so sad? 
Yes, Kendra. Because she didn't have a child. Because she had no child. Let's start for her. And what did Hannah decide to do? She decided to go to the temple and pray. She decided to go to the temple and pray. Let's clap for him. What promise did Hannah make to God? Yes, Ella. Hannah promised God that she would give the child back to God. Yes, Hannah promised God that she would give the child back to God and she fulfilled her promise. Let's clap for Ella. Teddy, now my last question is for you. What was the name of Hannah's son? Samuel. Samuel, let's clap for her. So just like we learned, we should always take prayer very seriously. And we can come to God anytime in prayer, okay? So we are going to do a very simple and fun activity. It's called the five finger prayer. Say the five finger prayer. The five finger prayer. So who are some of the people we pray for? Yes, Ella. I pray for my friends. Your friends. My mom, dad. Your mom, okay. My sisters and brothers. Your sisters and brothers, your family. Who do you pray for? My, my grandma. Your grandma, okay, yes. So I'm going to teach you a very simple way of praying. So it's called a five finger prayer. Let's all take a pen. Okay. So we are going to place our finger on the paper on our A4 sheet. Those at home, get your A4 sheet too and do it with us. So get your A4 sheet and then trace out your palm. Trace it out with a pen or pencil. So trace it out nicely. Okay, good. So after chasing it out, now let's look at let's let's look at our palms like this. So our little finger, so your little finger, wave your little finger. It represents those who are weak. Like who are some of the people who are weak that we know? The sick, yes, or the less privileged, okay, or orphan. So the, for the first one, you write that and you pray for. So you pray for the sick or the less privileged, okay? You write the sick. Less privileged. Then we go to our ring finger, the next finger. It represents our family. So a lot of us said we pray for our grandma, our brothers and sisters. So that's for family. So that's for family. Good. So for family. Then our middle finger. Which finger is the tallest? The middle, the middle finger. The middle finger. Yes, the middle finger. So it stands for those in authority, like the government, those who lead us, like the presidents, the ministers, so you pray for your leaders. So the middle finger stands for, is the tallest, so the tallest, it stands for praying for leaders. Good. Okay. Then let's do this. What, which finger? Is this our index finger? Index. What do we use our index finger to do? Point. To point. So the index finger stands for those who point us in the right direction. Example. Our parents. Our, our parents. parents. Okay, our parents stands for our family. Which four point us in the right direction? At school, which four point us? The teachers. Our teachers, school. So our teachers. Can be our Sunday school teachers, our pastors. So this one stands for our teachers. And the last one, which which finger is this? Our thumb. Our thumb. Yes, and it's the closest to us. So that one, who can get it? Me. Us. We pray for ourselves. Wow, you've done so well. So that one stands for ourselves. For me. Yes. So pray for ourselves. Very good. Wow. So you can write on top of it the five finger prayer and then you write your name under it. Those at home, I hope you try it too. So you can write your name nicely under it and then paste it at a favorite place in your house. So that every day when you wake up, it will teach you and help you to pray, okay? Okay. Great, alright. I hope we enjoyed our activity. Yeah. I hope you at home also enjoyed it. Shine! I shine, you shine, we shine! Hi everyone! Let's learn something new! It's class time! Hello Shine here. Welcome to another session of craft time. Today we'll be learning how to make 
photo frame. It looks very nice, right? Very easy to make. You will need definitely some A4 sheets. You need some cardboard cut out, okay, just like this, to the length that you want, depending on the picture you want to frame. And then you will need a pair of scissors to cut out the cardboard and to cut out the paper. And the last part is your glue and some trimmings. You can get the trimmings from a seamstress or a tailor or any other person who so tell mommy and daddy and then do that for you. So now we start. So first you arrange your cardboard pieces in the form of the frame on your A4 sheet. Okay. And this is my makeshift picture. I think it's a picture to bring me. But next time I'll bring a real picture of myself. So this is the picture we'll be framing. And you put this on the A4 sheet just like this. Okay. Go buy your picture on the A4 sheet or a manila card if you have one. Then you take your glue just like this. Then definitely your trimming. Make sure that the trimming goes over the parts of the cardboard that are not together. So it goes over it just like this. And then you cut it. If it's a bit too hard for you to cut, let any older person assist you. Then you apply your glue. As you can see, I'm applying and you do that generously. You apply your glue generously. Don't move it too much, you see? If you move it too much, the glue moves out there and sticks to your hand. So be careful so that you also don't bend yourself because this glue is for I hope you enjoyed today's craft. Please send pictures of your craft on the numbers on our screen. Auntie Val, we have a question for you. Let's hear it. It's from Araba, who is 11 years old. Dear Auntie Val, when they gave us our last term exam papers, I did not do well in some of the subject. Right now, mommy wants to see my papers, but I don't want her to see the ones I did not do well. I am afraid she would be sad. What should I do? Thank you, Kendra, for reading our question for us. You're welcome. And thank you, Araba, for sending in your question. My dear Araba, it's so unfortunate that you didn't do well in some of your subjects. It just means you need to study those subjects more and pay more attention to them. Just like 2 Timothy 2.15 says, you should study to show yourself approved. Don't worry about mommy. She loves you very much and will find a way to help you 
better your grades so that you'll be an excellent student. So go ahead and show mommy your papers and try and study harder. You see that you'll be excelling in all your papers in the next day. God bless you and keep shining. Kendra, I really enjoy this amazing stars every week. Yes, I've shine. Everyone is a star. Let's enjoy these amazing stars. is check in and connect prayer is all about talking to God always check in and connect with God at any time write out the Lord's Prayer and paste it by your bed don't forget to send us a picture my dear friends throughout this week we've been learning a lot from the Lord's Prayer and this prayer is the prayer Jesus taught his disciples when they asked him to teach them how to pray. We pray to our Father God as children of God. And you cannot pray to God if you don't have him as your Father. Today, I want to give you the opportunity. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior, then God is not your Father. If you've never made that prayer before to accept Jesus into your heart, then I want you to join me today to make that prayer. You can close your eyes and say it after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you that we can come to you and talk to you in prayer. Today, I ask that you forgive me all my sins and wash me with the blood of Jesus. Dear Jesus, come and live in my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Help me to always talk to God in prayer. I pray, dear God, and I thank you for making me your child. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's wonderful. Now you are also a child of God, so you can talk to God in prayer and call him my father. Take your special time with God every day seriously. Read the word of God. Talk to God in prayer. He's your father and he hears you. Very soon you see yourself growing in the Lord. God bless you and keep shining. Hi everyone. Who's ready for some games? Let's go. Shine. I shine. You shine. We shine. All right. For today's game, we are playing Hunter, lady, or lion. Just make sure you don't choose the same personality that I choose. All right, get ready. One, two, three. <laughs> Nobody got my personality. Anybody who gets the same personality I choose is out. Turn again. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, Michael, do the same. Oh, let's not say Michael, bye bye. All right, close up, close up. Let's be fast. Ten. One, two, three. Ah, oh, the lack of me. The lack of me. Let's not say the lack of me, bye bye. All right, now the team ladies come to my side. Let's see who's going to be out. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, Vanessa Pinnick, Vanessa Baba! Bye. And the winner of today's game is our own Amiria Shosom now! Shine! I shine! You shine! We shine! Bye! Hi everyone! Before we close, let's enjoy this lovely song.
so much for today. Thank you for such an amazing time today. Thank you for the privilege of calling you Father. Be with us throughout the next week in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to get a copy of your shine devotional magazine. And your t-shirt. Watch out for the new edition and get a copy. See you next week. Shine. I shine. You shine. your personal copy of the Shine Devotional Magazine at any challenge bookshop near you or call our numbers and order today. You'll enjoy awesome activities like puzzles, crosswords, hidden pictures, recipes, crafts and many other educational stuff. Send your questions and comments to the numbers on the screen or through our WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram or YouTube channels. Order for your lovely Shine Kids Club t-shirts or wristband and it will be delivered to you.